welcome to another video today's video we have a very quick haul from makeup revolution i was on there the other day i wanted some new things from makeup revolution and i decided to add some more stuff and makeup revolution shipping was really really fast like i got my stuff in three days when the delivery order uh, came i was like dog that was really really fast so right off the bat just for shipping they got 10 stars from me i i order makeup all the time and no one not even Ulta or sephora ships that fast so i could place my order and i got my order within three days so let's jump right into it Y'all know this stuff I didn't need. But that were they having a sale? I don't even think they was having a sale. Whatever. Okay. So the first thing I got is this Coconut Dreams. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I already have it. But it's the iHeart Revolution Coconut Dreams Hydrating Primer with Vitamin C and E. And it says it's a hydrating primer. That's all it says. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's hydrating. So y'all know I like to use a pore filling primer and also a hydrate a hydrating primer. And this was four dollars. And I love uh my strawberry whipped cream primer that I have from them. So I said why not try this one? Coconut jeans. Yeah. So yeah, we got that. Next up, let me stick with the primers. We can stick with the primers. Is a color corrector skin base with Sika and Banana brightens the appearance of skin. Now I have no idea if this is for darker skin tones. I know they usually say for to correct darker skin tones should use orange, but I was like, well, brighten if I want to be bright, like glowy, like glow from within. I felt like this would do it. So brighten and correct helps wake up tired and dull skin. So for the morning said I'm really, really tired. So it looks like this. This was on sale for four dollars also. Super base. Let's see. This right here, right up it oh, don't make a mess, Nana. This little top right here is reminding me of the Bobby Brown. Y'all know that Bobby Brown primer. But it's yellow. I'm trying not to make a mess. And it's whippy. It's that like whippy. Let me, since I got it on my hand, show y'all. I'm about to make a whole mess. Let me put the top on this. So this is how it looks. Just a yellow base. It feels, you would. Mm, it feels like a very thick moisturizer. So let me rub it in so y'all can see how it would look on the face. So I can see how this would be illuminating. Illuminating. Yeah. Um, on me, it's looking really ashy. But once I put my foundation on, I guess it will be, you know, no smell or anything. So we'll see. Because right now, it's looking kind of dull. Okay, the next up is a Revolution Pro Blur Fine Line Filler. So you all know I always use my MAC Paint Pot. So this was $3. So I was like, the reason why I use the Paint Pot right here is because of the lines. So I said, well, I'll give it a try. It won't hurt. It says, one universal shade, pore blurring, fine line filler, evens out complexion. So the shade they have is a young lady in her upper lip. If you can see, I guess she wanted to conceal the lines. So I was like, my lines are right here. So this should work. The pot just looks just like, just a little smaller, but looks like the MAC Paint Pot. And this is how it looks. But let me see if it's still the same. It's the same consistency. It feels like it. You know, nothing is coming up on my hand, feel like. I don't see, you don't see anything, but you feel it. So it's not like 
you know, because you know the MAC Paint Pot is basically a primer. But for this one, I don't feel and I don't see anything, but I feel the tightness of it. Okay, I'm glad I looked up because my memory card was running out. So I got this I Heart Revolution Beetlejuice Palette. And this is it. Just the Beetlejuice house and whatnot. Upside down. Do I have upside down? So y'all know I love Beetlejuice. That's one of my favorite all-time movies. And here's Beetlejuice right there. And these are the colors. I was attracted to this because of the purple and brown shade. That's what wheeled me in for this palette. So let's go ahead and swatch it. The dark purple and the brown. Let's swatch it to see. Mm. Mm. So this is how it looks. You know, I really don't go based upon swatches, but I like to sh I like to show y'all how they look. But you know, once you put on your base and everything, like a shadow that doesn't swatch well can always come back to life. But y'all see that purple? I'm in love with that purple already. That purple in the brown is subtle. It's not too deep. So... Yeah, we're going to definitely play with this one this week. Next up, I picked up a Ultimate Lights Revolution palette. And this, in, this is in Feathered Jewels. I saw this on, I think, Trend Mode or something. So I was waiting for them to drop this. I think this is part of their holiday collection. And right now, Ulta has these palettes on sale for $9. I'm going to swatch this matte turquoise shade because that's why I basically ordered it. <laughs> Makeup Revolution. Look, I done messed it up just that fast. Y'all see that? I don't know what y'all be doing over there. But this is beautiful. Wow. It's like a turquoise green. This is a fun um, holiday palette. Fun holiday palette. All of the, the green glitters, the turquoise. It's different outside of your red, greens, golds. It's different. I'm going to mess that up. Hopefully I can fix it. But yeah. But that's how that looks. Next up we have... Honey Bear Shadow Palette. I thought the packaging was too cute. It's in the tin can. And this is Honey Bear. Isn't that cute? And this is my type of palette. Y'all know my browns, my golds. This, I can't go wrong with this palette. This palette to me is full of transition shades. So I'm going to swatch this one at the bottom. That's the deepest of them. And I swatched it right on the green shade. That's the deepest of them. But without being, still without being deep. But I can see this as a great transition color for the days I'm trying to do a look without using a transition color. You can barely see it though, next to that green. So that would be perfect for me. Hmm. Let me swatch the gold shade. Ooh. The money all around me. And I like them to me. Mm hmm That's pretty. And this is the what did I say this was? The honey bear. Next up is the Revolution Ultimate Lights Shadow Palette. It's called Ultimate Lights. And I don't know if this was new, but this was my first time seeing it. And I was like, wow. And this was $12. I was like, wow, that is really pretty. So I don't know if it's new, but it's more like on the mauve side of things with the mauve paints. Even the mauve browns and throwing some gold right there and some paint glitter. So I was like, is this a new? Because I have never ever seen it. And this shade right here, I love this glitter shade right here. So I'm going to swatch that one. It's called Glamour. I don't, I don't mind glitter shades as long as they're not the hard ones. Looks like this might be a topper because it swatched really, really 
lightly. If you can see it next to the yellow, which you can barely see, but it looks like it might be more so a topper. Hmm. Ooh. Now this one is, I want to say it's not too hard, but it's hard. Let me swatch it right here. Yeah, you can feel it. This is that, I guess you're supposed to put it on top of something also. You see it? We'll play with that palette. Because y'all know I'm not a fan of toppers. Okay, now on to the reason why I went to Makeup Revolution's website. So the Plastic Boy did a collaboration. He's on YouTube and he did a collaboration with Makeup Revolution. So I wanted to get something from him. Him, And this is the Plastic Boy Gary Thompson Lip Kit. And this is in Hazelnut Macchiato. Macchiato. So this was the darker of the two. It's two lip kits. And this was the darker of the two. It comes with a lip liner, liquid lipstick, and then a lipstick. So this is the liquid lipstick. You know, my type of brown. Not as dark. Is this the lipstick or lip gloss? I'm just talking. Let me tell y'all the right thing of what I think it is. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Oh, it's a lip gloss. So lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. So this is a lip gloss, which you're probably not going to see because it's probably it's my skin tone. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to see it right there. This is my skin tone. And then we have the lip liner. Let's see how chocolate that is. I'll put it right next to it. I'll do a little circle. The only thing, I don't like when you have to sharpen. I don't like those ones you have to sharpen. I like the automatic ones. So I'll put it right next to the gloss. As you can see, that little circle right there. By the way, right there. That's it. So it's deep. Not real deep, but it's deep. And this is the lipstick. Which is, the packaging is phenomenal. And it has a magnet snap. So this is the shade. I don't know. Y'all, I don't know where it's Oh, it's on the top. Hazelnut. So everything is hazelnut macchiato. So this is how it looks, which is a very warm brown, but not deep. It's not deep. Let's swatch it right here. Let's see. Mm, this is pretty. This is different. So that's how it looks. Different. A very cool. See, I think that's cool or warm. It's pretty though. It's a nice natural brown. Okay, what I really went on there for was his eyeshadow palette. And this is called, I have a name. It's just the Plastic Boy Revolution times the Plastic Boy Gary Thompson. I don't see no name on it, but that's how it looks. I was so excited because of the brown shades that were in here. The brown and the orange shades that were in here. So... Wow. I love that their eyeshadows all come in 10 pans and as you can see this packaging is absolutely beautiful on here it is beautiful so let's see I'm quite sure they have some palettes with these shades in it before but not in the same palette as you can see Okay, so I turned down the lights a little bit, but this is oh, this palette screened my name from the browns to the golds, even the black shade, throwing a light pink at the bottom over there. This is fall, winter, this is everything for me. So what shade do I want to swatch without boring you guys? I'm gonna swatch Ochre. Ochre. 
right there. It's different, it's gold, but it got some pink reflex in it. Y'all know we're gonna do a look with it, so I'm trying not to. Oh, it's orange. It's actually it's orange and pink. That is beautiful. And that's how it looks. Put it back some. But that's how it looks. Nice and pretty, especially on my deep skin. I can see me wearing that. I'm gonna swatch this pink and then we out of here. Y'all see that paint? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, we'll be playing with this really, 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 really soon. Really soon. Yeah. So if you plan on picking this up or if you already picked it up, please drop down and let me know. I'm excited about this one. This and the lip kit. I really, really am. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.